Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. The news. <laughs> the <laughs> fake news. Fakes. Drinking Bros fake news. Kind I'm of so is, excited. I, I want to I admit you. that I've not been watching any fucking news, so I'm not written on any of this because Perfect. I'm going to get my news source from the podcast that I'm on and then, Fake News. But you're going to, in real time, make opinions off yes. segmented facts yeah. <laughs> and demand that people follow you with yeah, that. Because, I mean, yeah. what's the difference? It's fake news. I'm, I'm in, bro. Fuck it. It's fake news. This is, the, sorry, sorry, you know, this is the last one you guys will have to endure without the new news graphics and song and everything like right. that. Next but, Friday, we'll be more organized. We'll probably have our earpieces. We'll dun, be dun, in dun, suits. Dun. We're going to start taking the news seriously. Yeah. We'll be in suits. Dan, Dan will stop shit. fucking writing He's writing during stuff. the show. Actually, reporters do that, they don't they? They write that, yeah. yeah. And they, they do, do this. And they, they do a lot of this. Shuffle yeah. papers. Yeah, 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 it makes yeah. it seem yeah. like We need to put right these on at least 13 pieces yeah. of paper. And listen, if anyone disagrees with you after yeah. you form these opinions <laughs> on segmented facts, they are no lo- they, they are the alt-left. Yes. I just invented yep. that term. It's no longer the alt-right. We have the alt-left. Uh, first in news, people. I'm concerned about Ross's prostate. So make Ross's prostate again. He was peeing right before the show, and it yeah. was a little trickly. I, you, so we're, we're, you, you know what? That's I'm from, not a doctor, actually? but it's fake news. I am a doctor, and I will I will take a look for you when you come. You into played Texas. a doctor on a skit one time. I'm, it was a fantastic true. skit. That is true. Yeah. 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 You know yeah. what? You, you know the funny thing about that is Matt, and this is a this is a, a true story. As a as a young man, as a teenager, I read an article in GQ. If you started to hold your pee back. It would force you to hold your comeback. That way you could last longer. So True I've been story. doing that most of my life. Yep. Um, Interesting. I mean, that's yeah. just male kegels, right? That's, yeah, that's exactly. a male kegels. Hey, yeah. I once watched a pornography that had three girls just hanging out in a van. What, did they do anything? I mean, well, yeah, they, they like started messing around and stuff. Uh, what the G- fuck does this have to do with the news, bitch? Uh, Jared, okay. Jared oh. <laughs> inter- wait, but, but Jared, interestingly enough, we do have three porn stars who just confirmed less than 30 minutes ago that they will be on our L.A. show. Doing oh. whatever we want. So, hey, wow. it's kind of not fake news did, for you. Did, That's did real news. Get, did, is that real? Is that real? Dude? That is real. Pro- did that really happen? That is real. So Jacqueline Taylor. Yeah, that, um, the other girl is Bella. Mia Khalifa. Yeah. Whatever. And not that, Mia that, she's Ka- easy to get Mia to. Mia yeah. was a out porn of star for three months, man. Mia Khalifa yeah. just had surgery. Listen, she okay, got hit so essentially a puck at a game. what you're yeah. saying, Ross, is we need to tell Penny and Dave to add three mil plastic to the fucking shopping list. Perfect. Correct. Uh, the okay, last, so the, the last one is is Leela Star. By the way, that's her name. If you uh, want to look her up on know, Instagram, I them. I'm gonna have to Google them for research. Uh, other purposes. than Jacqueline <laughs> Taylor, yeah, Google. It's not my, Jacqueline. Uh, God damn it! Whatever. Stop saying that. Jacqueline. So my wife comes in. Are you watching porn at 2 p.m.? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it for research it's a, purposes. She's coming on the show. Research. I have to research. research. Okay, guys, fill me in on topic number one. Here we go. Top story of the week. Whoa! If you haven't seen this by now, you're fucked up. Not you. No, it's okay. I I openly said yesterday. I didn't want to watch it to just destroy my brain cells, but apparently it's five hours long or some shit. Five hours long. So, yeah, top story of the week here. Alex Jones went back on Joe Rogan. (laughs) They had a little bit of a tiff, and uh, they were going at it on one another um, out out in public. Joe Rogan actually made a phone call to Alex Jones to patch things up. He came on the show for five fucking hours worth of magic. And uh, to, to, to Ross said, Alex Jones and Rogan interview was chaos in our notes. That is the clearest definition of the word fucking chaos. Define chaos. I've ever so, seen. like, what were they just? Oh, it was, it, it, it was Alex Jones yelling. Alex Jones. It was Alex screaming. Jones said he was. Re- he, Alex Jones announced that he himself was retarded. He made comments yep. about dreaming in DMT, and he had seen everything. Yep. Uh, microwaves. Uh, uh, he also mm. said his dad was part of some fucking like secret government organization. His and all father this other built bullshit. the nuclear reactor underneath the main campus of the University of Texas. Yeah, there's a secret alien base in San Francisco where they're making intergalactic deals. With no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. They're injecting wait, wait. NASA Inter- astronauts intergalactic with DMT deals. Yes, deals, business deals Damn. with fucking aliens. I want to know what that contract looks like, dude. And yeah, what? Did, just how from do a you value standpoint? their currency, Dan? That, that's classified. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Because yeah. this is the real question. <laughs> this is, and this, this is, is what this news <laughs> Alien This currency. is what Drinking Bros News is about. Alien currency. How do you fucking <laughs> do a conversion to alien currency? What is that thing called? They, they pay in. When you fucking uh, have to get different money from different countries. Exchange rate. Exchange. <laughs> what is the alien exchange rate? COD. Ooh. No. Oh. <laughs> God, that's oh, what oh, happened oh, to your cod. Oh my God. They're selling JT's fucking cod off to the goddamn aliens. That's where they're going. 
Those motherfuckers. This Mystery could make sense now. I've solved. actually turned the corner on that, and I don't believe COD ever existed now. Do you know how Whoa. many... Have Whoa. you ever seen grocery stores? <laughs> Are you, <laughs> you fucking, fucking kidding me? Yes. <laughs> okay, now imagine this, though. Every grocery store display that has the crab legs and the shrimp and the COD yep. now times that by a whole bunch because it's everywhere. So hold on, hold on. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? How are we not running out of fucking everything? Because it's a renewable resource. It's like a tree you plant yeah, it grows. Fish, fish, I don't believe it. Fish. I think there's too much. I think there's so, there's something going on there. We haven't asked the right questions fish yet. Fuck and reproduce like they humans. Don't, they don't. No, no they, they don't. don't. But that would be hot if they did. I'm, I'm Can you s- imagine seeing two fish fuck missionary style? Make That'd love. Be great. Oh, yeah. wow. dolphins do. Like Dolphin it's pinning tank. the other fish's <laughs> fins down. No, imagine, fins. that's another imagine thing we need to explore like fake up. news. <laughs> why, why don't other mammals fuck in different positions? I know. It's, Dolphins do. It's really doggy style in the, in, in the Lion bear, Kingdom. Bear style. What about, right? what about style. like apes and chimps and shit? How do they I've fuck? never seen them. Yeah, I've never they, seen them they, fuck. Uh, yeah. they, no. Pull up a video of, a, damn. of an ape fucking. Primates? <laughs> damn, yep. primates, jackhammer. They just, they get no foreplay. They go in and... And jackhammer. Like, I've watched rabbits fuck. They, like, lose it. I'm telling you. Yeah, no, it's interesting. And, and by the way. I'm telling you. This, this intergalactic. Here. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, shit. So we That's got a reach around. research. Oh, yeah. She's, it's like a, it's a double underhook. That one, the female's eating something. Yeah. yeah. I mean, hey, at least they're multitasking. His yeah, dick this could is, be this is I wish I wished most women wouldn't get mad at me for doing that. <laughs> Well, yeah, maybe, maybe you should start eat. fucking a monkey. I mean, that's the next. <laughs> that's the next level. That's how AIDS was invented. Yeah. So, so, so uh, Ross, Ross, we got to get invented. back to this. Did you? What is with this intergalactic currency and and contracts that that Alex Jones did? Because this is fucking yeah. awesome. Sure. What is so, the what exchange is rate? Yeah. So, so, so here's what I first want to go into, and I, I want to ask our our news. Uh, hallucinogen expert D'Anthony D'Anthony Holloway here. Um, I'll challenge him on that one. Right before that, he said that they were yeah. injecting uh, astronauts in San Francisco with DMT that the third dimension wasn't real. It was the other dimensions that people are Fifth trying and six. to... That's not how... One, that's not how you consume DMT. Okay. You don't injection. inject it. The so injection. that's stupid. Uh, but so it's not he, an injection. He, it, it, like you, no, can't, you can't inject it he, into. He he went full stolen valor last night on the drugs <laughs> because he was he's never done. Valor. He said this is this is what Alex Jones said. He says and he's right about the first part. This is the problem with these nut jobs. They always mix a little bit of fact and with their fiction. Like that. Uh, who's that? Uh, AOC. Oh no, it was all fiction. <laughs> oh, <okay>. um, uh, <laughs> any, <laughs> anyways, uh, your body does naturally produce DMT. Yeah, and that's why people microdose. Yeah, it's very likely that that's what is causing your dreams. Right. right. Got it. So he was like, every morning I would wake up, or every every night I would go to sleep, and every morning I would wake up having basically tripped on DMT. I'm like, not really, dude. You just had it li- like, like he, he, lucid he, dreams. That's it. Yeah, he was trying to like so say he, that he was on the same level as Joe in, in that regard. He's like, I understand it. I've seen it. So everything. pretty much what you're saying, he was like a uh, 40-year-old virgin trying to tell everybody else in the, the sand, panel what the tits sand, feel yeah, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. DMT, yeah. it's like when you, when you shoot it in your butt and then you go like lift, you're like, I think you took... Mm. Testosterone, Alex Jones, not yeah. DMT. He he admits to having never taken hallucinogens, if I'm not mistaken. But the the thing that Joe Did Rogan he? said that I I actually jumped, started jumping up and down in my loft by myself was Joe Rogan said if a if an alien spaceship landed in the parking lot and a little gray man with big black eyes walked out, he goes that would be nothing compared to the shit I've seen on psychedelics. Yeah, yes, and I agree with that. Because as much as Dan's done, I, I'm in not maybe not the same category, but close to it. I've seen some fucked up shit that yep. wasn't there. But you know what I've never seen? Here's, you, know, hold on, you know what I've never seen? Get, a goddamn alien business deal. Exactly. <laughs> and here's what we need to talk about here, because I yeah. really hope to God, I hope to God nobody's fucking us over there right now, because we need to undervalue their currency. That's what I'm thinking. I'm also, saying, do like, not be like, oh, what's this shiny fucking yeah. metal that we don't know? We're going to make it. Four dollars yeah. to every one of them. No, we need to fuck with them. We need to be like, dude, that shit, that shit's weak. Well, if you're talking about like, if you're talking about rare earth metals, that's what goes in batteries, especially smaller and smaller batteries. Yeah, lithium batteries. That Alkaline stuff is stuff super, like that, yeah. super valuable to us right now. I'm just saying we should be undervaluing alien. So currency. you basically what are you, saying do you right think away. business like alien businesses trade on like a gross multiple or an EBITDA multiple? Because I would say I, EBITDA. Yeah, I think so because you know because they have to pay for so much interstellar like travel, travel and, 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 and how much does interstellar travel? 
cross. But they're also cross. probably older. If they're they probably have a energy, renewable source. But Look, energy, yeah, but if they're rolling nuclear from? reactors, it's infinite energy, and it's got a 90-year shelf got life. alien like, nuclear who cares? reactors. How do you measure a mile per gallon on a nuclear reactor? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We can't. We're fucking... We're, it's, a, it's an ion thruster is basically what it is. can't. We're the chimpanzees this, this is, of, the, of the intergalactic space. Are, they're yeah. far more, you know, advanced resourceful us, yeah. and advanced There's a design that Carl Sagan developed back in the 80s, and it's basically this big umbrella on the front of a spacecraft, because remember, there's no resistance in space. There's no gravity. There's no, no sound. There's no it's sound. In a fake news yeah. right there. There's no yeah. fucking sound in yeah, space. Yeah, you can't yeah. yell in space. No. God. So yeah. you, can't throw a, you can't throw a temper tantrum. If you hold your breath, though, you can survive in space. Basically, anyways, <laughs> that's stupid. <laughs> you can't. No, no. It's not a thing. You can. No. If you're in a black hole, no. you can. If you hold your breath, you can. No. If, you're, if you're in a black hole, if you're your traveling through black holes, you can. If you go through a black hole, you'll be what they call. You'll get spaghettified, spaghettified, whatever, and it just like you hit the point at the event horizon and it just turns you into string. 50 years ago, not today, it was today's technology. You'll survive. No I've technology. seen the movie Event Horizon. Fuck that oh, shit. That was a good movie, bro. But no, no, yeah. no, that was no, such no. A good movie. I will walk off this set if y'all talk about that fucking I feel movie. Like you're fucking not Bert Koontz. Yeah, don't, don't Bert. Yeah, don't, yeah, you don't pull a Bert. Bert. No. I have you chill bumps. That is the most terrifying thing I have ever seen Where a in spaceship my goes to hell and back. Life. Dude, let's make Baker watch Event Horizon on DMT. Yeah, and then we Ooh. all get I'm gonna to start crying. Mystery <laughs> I'm going to start crying right now if y'all keep talking about it. Okay. <laughs> Fuck that all right. show. <laughs> so let's Holy go. Shit. What, what are we, The umbrella? What's the umbrella do? So the umbre- umbrella collects these particles called ions, right? Mm-hmm. And it accelerates them through like a tube through the middle of the ship. And it just keeps going faster and faster and faster. Like Voyager, for example, has been traveling through the solar system and then out of the solar system since Mm -hmm. the 70s. And it just picks up speed. It gets faster and faster as it goes because there's no resistance. Right. Um, And that's how aliens would probably travel. It's the most. So there's no mile per per gallon. They're not. They're not shelling out. You know. They're not. Well, no. But then you have to have back thrusters of some force of energy to counteract the motion when it's you want to stop. nuclear powered, you're still yeah, not they using, are not using fossil fuels. And that would have to be fuels. a renewable source. They're definitely not using they're fossil fuels. They're not using fuels. fossil fuels. No, but they're they're ions not. are... Uh, Where the I mean, fuck are aliens getting never, fossils? They they'll created never. the goddamn fossils, fucking assholes. Yeah, they put every dinosaur in a rock. Yeah, fuck them. They probably harvest it from planets like ours. They come in, like Independence Day, steal, kill all of us, steal our natural resources, burn the planet, and move on. All right, hey, and Matt, they, Matt. They fucking space. Well, I got bad news for them. We're burning all of our shit already. Yeah, don't worry. Humanity's got it. We're the cancer of the planet. We're We'll take care of this thing in a couple hundred years, guys. And speaking of, har- of harvesting, Matt, that was another big topic on the show yesterday of Alex Jones claiming that uh, the government is harvesting organs. Um, from babies. From, from, yeah. from babies what? around the country. Texas, Virginia is, is two states that he had confirmed. And he, he said a seven-pound living piece of meat was worth a million bucks. Correct. And that's how he described it. Yep. Yeah. Seven pounds of meat is worth instead of goes, a dead baby that's worth fifty. Yeah, grand. he goes. Why do you want to? He goes. Why do you want to waste that seven pounds of prime meat right there? I mean, oh. it's, it's crazy. It, yeah. It's, wow. It's wow. absolutely. I'm crazy. still. I I hope Feinstein is not fucking up our fucking conversion ratio. Or she wouldn't be talking currency no. ratio. What do you call it? What do you got? Exchange, exchange rate. Exchange rate. Yeah. Exchange rate. Yeah. Just, so I, can you imagine? Because a- it's one person. One person can fuck this up for us. Yeah. Imagine if AOC was the broker between oh space aliens God. and humanity. And She'd it's kill like, the she, deal. Yeah, they, she would. They, they're going to come and land, and Good. they're going to be like, "Okay, humanity, let's work together." She's hey, like, "Okay, gonna, so like, what we're, we're going to do like nope. solar, like she's going to laser beam all of us." Be like, yeah. we just had to kill you guys because yeah. if that's the best foot forward, it's called extinction. It's like showing up to a party now. and the first guy you run into is Pauly Shore. You're like, fuck, fuck this. this party. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah. I'm no out. offense. R.I.P. Pauly right. Shore. Yeah. Is he alive? No, yeah, he's alive. Yeah, he's, oh, thank he's, God. he's barely I was talking alive. About his career. <laughs> yeah. He took over. His, his mom passed away, so he took over the comedy store. So he owns the comedy store on, oh, good for uh, him. on Sunset. Which obviously is the biggest one in the United so States. It head, so it headlines him every night. Exactly, seven days a week, and huh? he, he does hosting and all that other shit. But that even just that piece of real estate is worth fuck yeah, man, no probably shit. thirty million dollars. So Polly Shore hey, so, is fine. We do not. So have to on worry Alex about Jones, Pauly. let's skip to number three here because. Oh wait, wait! Ross, I, I have one more, Dan. Uh, do you think Trump created the space force to possibly deal with the alien exchange rate? That would make well, more I've sense always, to me. I've always said that we need to build a wall between the earth and the moon to keep out uh, illegal space people. <laughs> I could get behind that. I know it doesn't make any sense. Do we just have to put mm. it between us and the moon? But and it, what if the moon moves? 
It doesn't. It stays the, there all the time. The moon definitely moves. Because the earth is flat, and then the moon just sits right here. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Listen. And then the moon the, rotates is why it goes from big to, like, small. But the, I think the earth rotates like this. I really hope, I really hope <laughs> Tesla fucking bombs a giant Tesla logo Damn, into earth. the moon. Oh, that would be moon. great. It's God, earth. that would be funny. Yeah, Every Ross, time you look at the moon, you just see a Tesla logo. Like, oh, man. <laughs> did, did, we, did, did we talk about that on the show yesterday? The, we uh, talked about the space the satellite advertisement. Ass. Yeah, we That's didn't, cool but the moon shit. is well, next. Well, wait a minute. The moon Look is next. Look at all this shit coming together. This is not a coincidence. Yes. Yesterday, we talked about space ad- advertisements. Yep. Today, we're talking about Elon Musk advertising on the moon, and now Alex Jones is telling us that there's space deals going on in San Francisco. Yeah. yeah. Are we, are there is moon- this a coincidence? No. 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 Are, there moon people, are there moon people that we're, that we're negotiating ad rates with right now? And I That's hope it's question. Buzz Aldrin. Oh. Where's Buzz been at, dude? I have not seen him Fuck out in public. Buzz. Is he the one? He's the one brokering Buzz these deals. Can- Fuck right off. He was the last like man Aldrin, dude, to because live on the moon. he won't let me come on him. <laughs> <laughs> he won't let you jack off on him. That's just mean. What? I that know, you're right. Aggressive. I have no hate for Buzz Aldrin. I think he's a nice I love. Fella. We love Buzz. We're big fans I mean, of Buzz I like. Here. I like how violent he gets anytime someone claims that the moon landing was fake. Yeah. I respect like that. that. He's like, fake, fake. I, yeah. And he just he goes, socked yeah. the dude in the face I'll at like seven years I'll old. I'll fuck you up, motherfucker. I sat in a fucking umbrella tinfoil fucking hatch. For eight there days, needs to be more days, punching in the face. Days. I don't know. Six it's days. It's fake news. It doesn't matter. Bring fist fights back, back again. You know? Yeah, 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 for sure. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I look, mean, honestly, I really want to wear mega gear just to see if people really oh, man. touch it. Please. Because, I mean, again, like all these videos I've seen uh, where they go to grab the hat, it's just a quick fucking right to the I've, jaw. And then they, oh, whoa. I whoa. see those videos yeah. and I get angry. It's like, yeah. why won't any of this shit ever happen to well, now me the court, or near me? Now the courts have established that it's assault to do that, right? Yeah. Like there's case I mean, law that saying that been. it's assault for you to grab my shit and tear it That's off. That's awesome. Hand. So you just assault them back. No, well, it's not. It's defense. So, um, Minor assault like that is a misdemeanor, and you can intervene in a misdemeanor in any state. Well, like, there's no state that says you can't punch that person. That's right fucking great. So this is actually real news. Yeah, real was news. When we were in New York, Ross Patterson and I, for yes. the initial book deal, it was right after Trump had won the presidency. Yeah. And we were the day walking after. down. The day and after, there was yeah. just there's thousands of people in New York protesting, <laughs> and they're, like, getting in your face. And I'm wearing a black rifle shirt. And, mm-hmm. like, rah, rah, rah. I'm like, dude, if one, I told Ross, I'm like, because I stood in the crowd and just let him walk by mm-hmm. me, see if he Motherfucker would grab oh, you me. guys had but, that sweatshirt on. I don't remember the picture. Yeah, I was like, yeah. let's uh, let's party. Let's let's just if you hit me with that stick, I'm gonna fuck all you up. I mean, I, I could probably knock out at least four or five before I got you know, at the least. Game you just stomped. get tired. At least and I get tired. tired. They stomp me, but yeah, I'd, stomp say, you. I'd say nine. With their 110 Matt. pound bodies. That's true. Yeah, but, you know, I want to know what they were protesting. Like, not my president. No, but but yeah, what, I know, I know. what are you what are you using your time for? It's just it's my same concept with vegans. It's like. You're devoting your life to push a cause that will never happen. Ever. Ever. You are not going to stop 7 billion people from the planet from eating animals. So you're wasting all of your time. You know, speaking of that, AOC got caught eating hamburgers. Whoa! What? Yeah. Whoa! What a fucking pig. That's number five down here. But that's that's like, that's, that's standard veganism. From at least my understanding, I've met so many guys when I used to live back in uh, Los Angeles and females. They would spout their hate towards me because I was a meat eater. Meat eater. Then they would get hammered and they'd go to McDonald's and get a fucking cheeseburger. Yeah. While every, wearing like, leather night. shoes and yes. a leather belt. I, yes, yeah. while leather shoes and leather belt. This like, just oh, did breaking that. right now. I haven't had McDonald's in like 40 days. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Really? I don't believe that. I don't believe I, absolutely. I mean, I don't uh, believe no, it. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I might be a little off on my math. The last time I had McDonald's was the fish sandwiches when we were in Florida. So that, yeah, that's 40. That was the 21st. Okay. So here's the, well, here's what the, if you replace no, wait, McDonald's 30, with? No, 37 here, here's days. Here's the reason. Because, 37 days. Shut up, bitch. The reason that he <laughs> hasn't done it is because he can't walk from his apartment to a McDonald's. That's why. Uh, he's lazy. Uh, it's not because he's avoiding McDonald's. Look well, at your fucking face. They have Listen, Grubhub now. There's a fucking Postmates. McDonald's 300 feet from this seat right now. That's okay, Dan. Last time he said this, I went and bought, I think it was 40 cheeseburgers <laughs> and put them on his desk. He's like, 
<laughs> and then I walk by and he's eating was, it and throwing the trash yeah. can. Like, you made me do this. Last year, yeah. I, like, I, I, I powered through seven of those. Yeah. Day. <laughs> and I went back after they were cold, too, like four hours later and had four more. That's <laughs> disgusting. Hey, shut up. My goal in life is to not force people to do anything, but create enough opportunity to break that, yeah. weak willpower. Exactly. Just I mean, to prove people wrong. It's that not that my willpower is weak. It's just, you know, I like to do what I like to do. And I change my mind on a whim. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with and that. There's nothing no, wrong with that. That's like, no, no goddamn is, thing wrong with that. There is something wrong with it when you promise your friend that he'll get a desk for his office, and then the oh. next day you decide, oh, I want to use that desk myself. You're but you mind. don't you're tell an, anybody. You're an you don't tell giver. anybody. And then when we say, you? where's the not, desk? Not only did you no, agree to it, there's you said the question. Absolutely That's the hard question. Where's the fucking desk, Baker? Where's the fucking desk, Baker? So I said, you can have it. I changed my mind. But didn't tell anybody. And it... Until I told them. No. I didn't tell them I changed my mind until I said I've changed my mind, which is normally how communication works. We even Number said, two, oof. you cannot fucking accuse me of being an Indian giver when I never fucking gave you anything. Okay. Hey, that's not how it works. Baker, 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 Let's Baker, Mr. Baker Chairman, is a Native Mr. Chairman. American giver. A Native American <laughs> Mr. giver. Come on now. <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Ross apologize. is the chairman in this hearing right now. Mr. Chairman, <laughs> right, here is what went down. We said, Baker... Can Dan have the desk that you purchased for his office? He said, yes. We said, how okay. much was it we will purchase from you right now? He goes, I already expensed it. I'm not worried about that. I will bring it tomorrow. Okay. Two weeks go by. No, that's not true. And it's we said, and a half. Baker, where's the desk? Oh, I decided I wanted it, and it's in my office. I changed my mind. Great. So guess I what Dan did? Uh, All right, 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 Mr. Right, right, right. Hey, don't interrupt Baker. the chairman. Or, order in the court. I order in the court, okay? I, I, I reviewed, I reviewed all the evidence um, at, at trial. You no. are Elizabeth Warren. You are an Indian giver, sir. Oh, this is done. Give your fucking Pocahontas. Give the no, desk. No, no, no. Bald bitch. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So do you, know, do you know what Dan did? <laughs> Dan then went and bought the exact same fucking desk from I didn't, the store. I didn't do it to taunt you. All the desks in here are the same, you fuck. Yeah, yeah. but yours is a fire hazard. Welcome. No, it's welcome. Not. They came also, in but and also said it too, wasn't. It's fine. Mr. Chairman, recently, like prior to this, months, when Baker asked to be a permanent guest on the show, we said you could if you get a desk and put it, put your computer in the office. Where's and your he, desk? He never did. Where's your desk? It's next door. In another room? Yep. Why does it matter what type of goddamn desk I sit at? Because that what? was the deal. No, it wasn't the deal. Yeah, a, deal, the deal. A, deal a deal a deal involves speaking of Obviously, a, a Baker deal hasn't involves read a the couple of, of a, a deal. No, I actually have read it. A deal involves it's a fantastic book. A deal involves an alien base in San Francisco. Yeah. yeah. Well, so that's what I was gonna say, Dan. We obviously are gonna have to do the intergalactic space alien deals together. I think we need to take that hey, over. Yeah. Here's we're here's on it. one thing that we need to think about. I'm a good deal right maker. now. Yeah. You remember? I mean, we made a deal with Italy that said we will government issue the M9 Beretta in exchange for us to have military bases in Italy, and look where that got us. We had the fucking M9 Beretta. M9 Beretta for how long? Yeah, it's a, so ter- it's a terrible pistol. We can't that be sucks. letting some jokers make these deals with these aliens. Alex Jones we, cannot be the point of contact no, with the aliens. No, no, it, no it can't be any Dan politician. Yeah, it can't be. It's got to be like somebody that understands government plus somebody that understands business. Yeah, and it's it, it, you do. And, and let yeah. me let me add one more conspiracy to this. I find it odd that they went live yesterday during the the trial for Michael Cohen against Trump, where everybody and their mother was watching that. It was trending number one on Twitter all day. Alex yep. Jones and Joe Rogan go live right in the middle of that trial and completely buries this Michael Cohen story I, I altogether. Think I've, I've been reading on a lot of news yeah. sites that this was some kind of conspiracy, and I, that's not the craziest thing I've ever heard. It's definitely no. not anywhere near as crazy as anything Alex Jones said last night. <laughs> no, and, and I, think, I think Joe Rogan knows this. By Alex Jones going back on that show, that was an all-time record for live viewing for Rogan. Uh, yesterday by by three everybody and their fucking mother you know watched it and it was alex jones was trending number one on twitter it's what were the comments as soon like? as they went live uh, there was a million. Oh my god it, it never ended and, and most of them were like dude he is a, a lot of people said the same thing that i believe that alex jones is one of the most entertaining people on the planet he's completely fucking nuts but he's entertaining and then yesterday he finally admitted that sandy hook was real I'm, so at least he and moved that he on himself was that. retarded. Yeah, I don't think he's yeah. nuts. I don't think he's nuts. I think at all. he's a liberal, probably at heart. I don't. Think oh. I don't think he. Yeah, I don't think he believes anything he's saying. It's a stick. That's all it is. Yeah. And here's the thing: if he was actually, I, I almost agree with you, Baker, because if he was actually a true conservative or a true liberal, he would never go this far. No. People were calling. Yeah, people There's were calling no Rogan a gateway to the alt right. 
Like that, you asked about oh, comments, Matt. Like people are like, oh, he's a gateway to the alt right, and uh, so he's essentially the, the marijuana is the gate drug of 1990s. Yes, so like, yeah. I yeah. smoked plenty of pot in high school, and then I never did one hard drug ever. So. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So that, so that, uh, it's and got not to mention Rogan has liberals all the time on his podcast. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All the time. Well, yeah, Jack it's, Dorsey, the CEO of uh, yeah. fucking Twitter. That uh, yeah. that interview on YouTube right now, 2.8 million views in less than 24 hours. Oh, solid boy. work. Solid, not solid work. Good job, Joe. Let's have Alex Jones. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Right. What, wait, it says it's, it was 2.7 last night. Then, Hang that, on that a second. Low. Let's let's get to the real the real news here. And AOC was eating hamburgers. Yes. Yeah. After she. I'd, 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 I'd like to bet. take her on a steak someone, dinner. I gotta someone's going to fucking ask her about this, and she's going to say the dumbest reply in oh, the I can't history. She did. Hey, she did. And Dave, pull up the reply that she said, because this, this, this picture went viral. After she testified in front of Congress and said, you know, cow farts and all that other shit are destroying the, the ozone layer and everything else. We need to stop eating less the, cows. The methane gas from cow farts. It, it, so it, fuck. It, I think exactly. we got some other shit to worry about in this planet before we focus on uh, that. Well, 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 she said, she said, if you want to get into the science. Yeah, that. she. But well, she said the Earth, the earth naturally produces. Cows. The Earth naturally produces about seven hundred gigatons of carbon per year that ends up in the atmosphere. We human beings produce about thirty additional gigatons. So, you can think of it two ways. One is that's not that much in the grand scheme of things. Two is that if you have a cup that's already full of water, and the full cup of water would would be the balance of nature, right? Equilibrium, and, yeah. Equilibrium, and then we add thirty more to it. We're the ones overfilling the cup but then you have to go back and say that human beings are part of nature too right so where the, where the fuck do you backstop that argument where does it end and then also but you <laughs> yeah, have to look at fair. a lot of these people with like the climate uh the world's coming to an end the polar ice caps are melting you know the world's but, not coming to an end our existence on it might be the world will be fine right but what you have to look at um you can't like take like a 10 year segment or a 20 year segment or a 30 year segment like you literally have to look at go, how old the earth is what millions of years old right uh, the well, Earth if you look through historical events, the transitions 6, 000, that Earth no. has done itself to like, it, it, I think it's, it's 6, constantly changing. Years yeah. old. It's 4.5 billion years old, and about 4 billion years ago, a Mars sized object slammed into the Earth, blew off the crust, the crust through accretion and gravity, formed the moon, right? Earth, life, 65 million years ago, meteor killed all life except for those primates dwelling in caves. Now we're back to life again. Right. And the earth is going to be fine. Life will be fine. But I mean, if, if you're going to complain, they, they should also complain about like plate tectonics and shit. And like, you know, I mean, North America and Africa were once connected. Listen, I shit's constantly changing. operated a ton but, of steam powered machinery. But this goes back That's to, true. But this goes back to the aliens. Like when humans go extinct, for the most part, we're going to die and become fossils, which will become oil. And we're going to fuel alien spacecraft one day. Our bones. Yeah. 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 That's and fucking cool. I like that. They That's have a version cool. of AM PM. With 99 cent hot dogs. Yeah. And mm. and you're the gas getting filled into the truck. Yeah. Well, and then you burn, and then you go in the ozone, and then you're just, you're just yeah. energy. Sort Circle of, of life, bro. Of, That's real. Yeah. Circle of life. I... Okay. So <laughs> what's her response? <laughs> Here's right. her response. Yeah, what's going on? So Ocasio-Cortez says, tonight a dude was creepily and, and, obviously. and obviously taking a picture of me while pretending he wasn't, and I had to break his imaginary fourth wall and say, hi, I'm a person. This is weird. Got it. So she is a woman in public, doesn't want to get her picture taken by a weird guy. That's understandable. But if you're a person that takes a hard position on this issue and then you're fucking eating a cheeseburger in public, sorry, honey, somebody's going to take a fucking picture of you. Yeah. Run up, get done up. Less than a I week mean, later. God damn. Less that's than like a one week later. That, that, that's, that's so stupid. She's so stupid. God damn, dude. I mean, it never ends with this I woman. mean, it, yeah, but... It, yeah, but you know when she a- wasn't stupid, I'll tell you when she wasn't fucking stupid, uh, this goes to number two. Yesterday during the Michael Cohen hearing, she was on fucking point. Uh, she was no emotion, yeah. no fucking drama. Yep. Her questions. She, I don't know who the fuck pre- prepped her. She was prepped by a fucking rock star attorney, and she, you're, uh, Madam Cortez, you're up. She yeah. goes, I'm going to be quick. I'm going to get to the point. Lays into questions. All of her questions. All they did was open up to more probes. There was other people that had histrionics and fucking like opinions and. Trump's this, Trump's that, and ask these absurd asinine questions to try to make Trump look bad. Ocasio-Cortez, every single fucking question that that little fucking shithead asked will lead to more probes going into financing with the Trump organization and lead to, eventually, their goal will be to get his tax returns. Correct. That's what she was doing, and it was fucking spectacular. Never- Not good spectacular, but... Like spectacular, Alex the true Jones spe- spectacular. Yeah, let me let me save God you the suspense. <laughs> let me save you the suspense. They're never going to get his tax returns because he will invoke executive privilege and tell them all to fuck off. It'll, I guarantee you, it'll never happen. <laughs> yeah, but no, there's some stuff now with the house that there's doesn't certain- matter. 
it, do, it doesn't matter at this point. He is he's president. He can invoke executive privilege anytime he wants and tell him to fuck off. He doesn't have to cooperate with any of these investigations. Yeah, you know, just I reading, think there's some gray area there. Reading more of her statements, though, she's just an idiot. I mean, like some of these quotes in this article here are fucking hilarious. It's not like you get rid of agriculture or we're going to force everybody to go vegan. Doesn't that contradict her statement? We're going to get rid of ad- agriculture. Oh my god, this is what happens, New York. When Way to go, Bronx. F- when you fucking elect a bartender to be, to be in Congress, I do find her attractive, though. Oh, Part, gross. Oh, yeah. I think gross. I think you have Stockholm syndrome, Baker. I take yeah. her. I, I take her like steak dinner. Different uh, strokes for different <laughs> folks. I would rather fuck the inner workings Listen, of my mattress in no, box spring. You gotta get to you gotta pole. get to know her first before you can make that statement. I've know enough. Baker. I am. I am on. You can't record. fuck her brain, dude. You can't fuck her brain. You can fuck her mouth. Yeah, but it's attached to her central up. nervous system that makes their body yeah, move. And I want already, none of that. You already have a window into what a dinner would be like with that. With yeah, that woman. She's it obviously going to be, be ordering. A like I mean, literally just that interview when they were when they were grilling her about Palestine and Israel. Like, and she. She doesn't. She literally is repeating the scene from Billy Madison. I have second like, embarrassment. You reminded me of that. No, but I'm with Dan. Yeah, I, I absolutely. I would. I would love to go out with her and maybe you know make the sexy time afterwards. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe boy. you got to see. We're gonna spray you down like you got. What is? Sh- yeah, but didn't she hire her it. boyfriend for her own staff? A pack hired her boyfriend and paid her boyfriend a six thousand dollar consulting fee, and they're saying that it's. It, it, it's potentially a violation of like uh, who's her boyfriend? Yeah, who's her boyfriend? Some yeah. fucking beta nerd. I mean, is it? Is I it, expected it, better from her. Is this a uh, is this a situation <laughs> like Britney yeah. Spears and what's his Kevin Federline? Like, is no, he, Federline, Federline, even, although a midget was a handsome dude. Yeah, but um, is this a little guy, person. Let's is this have guy some educated? No. Oh my God. Is he? Holy! Look at this fuck. guy. No. <laughs> oh. Damn. Oh. She's seriously. She's dating Dave. <laughs> Whoa! Take it back, That's Dave. Dave. Take it That's back. Like, how's that Dave? Stop. Stop. What, what's Stop. over under that this guy? Like, that looks like Dan and Dave were mushed into one person. <laughs> and oh, CJ yeah. Duggan from uh, from Bragg. <laughs> Damn sure looks like CJ Duggan. <laughs> he ain't no beta though. Let me let me add on to oh uh, God, Matt's comment is about there Dave. Any Dave that, photos that got, of them two together. Though? Dave was he doing wears sweater vest. weighted lunges yesterday. That dude sculpting wait. his buns. <laughs> That, Why is that relevant? That dude wear a sweater vest for sure. Look at that is picture it, on the there, far right. Is there any photos of them together though? Well, like, is that him? Is that his paramour? Right there. There's one uh, next to the, the. Oh, with a beard, with the ugly beard. Yeah, there you go. That's oh wow. See, that's nice. Well, she actually that's an old looks photo. okay there. Yeah. See, I love her. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, oh, Hit me the fuck. He away looks a from little this. like Prince Harry, doesn't he? A little bit. Yeah. That's an old fucking photo, though. Except Prince Harry's a badass. Yeah, he yeah. is. He's yeah. a fucking Apache pilot. Yeah. yeah, he'll fucking AGM 114 your ass. You ever see that interview well, when they took indirect first? and he ran out from the interview to go get in his Apache? That was yeah, he was out of there. Boss. Yeah, he, he was wasn't he a JTAC before? Yeah, he was a JTAC before that. Yeah, he boss. was. I, I think his call sign was. Widowmaker? <laughs> was it really? I will say this. We there are photos that. of her, like, when she looks fucking crazy, she looks fucking crazy. I got <laughs> I, I, Like, Baker, I understand your fascination of, of wanting to fuck her because that would be a crazy no. night where you would end up getting cut and, like, you know, trying to get the fuck out of there and you probably couldn't. She's got huge tits and, like, I, I kind Does of she? get it in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're hitting. No. You guys, yeah, but, dude, it no. really stems from the fact that I have the complexion no. of a jellyfish and I, fi- I find tan skin women attractive. That's really what it boils down you to. You guys know my personal history, oh. so I would definitely be into her. Right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I, I'm putting a tweet out for the aliens to come come get me and get me the fuck off of this planet after oh, this. Well, you we've should. Got, you we've should. got another topic. We got yeah. another topic that's we do. just like last week's. Yeah, this I, fucking male trans high school track and field runner destroys guys. Get the fuck out let of me, here. I'd like shit. to take lead on this yes, one because this ahead. is personal. Go, go for it. All right, so the fastest female 100 meter time in the history of the world is 10.48 by Jackie Joyner Kersey in the 80s in the Olympics. All right. The most recent Olympics, the three fastest female times were 10.72, 10.83, and a 10.86. That doesn't put you on the fucking podium of the Georgia high school boys finals in the 100 meters. <laughs> okay? It doesn't. So it really doesn't. It, it does not at all. So... Um, <laughs> It, this is so you're saying the, the your most comment recent, like stop the planet saying, I want the fuck off you're this saying, is this is Baker, my one off the moment Baker you're saying that the most recent Olympics their entire podium doesn't even f- put them in the finals for Georgia high school 
Hi, men. Correct. That's correct. True. That's yeah. a true statement. Yeah. That's right. a true statement. Right. Now, now also, right. hold on, hold on. The fastest female hundred meter time in the history of this fucking spinning goddamn rock that we're on is slower than the boys' high school state record in the state of Georgia, Florida. Texas and California. I didn't look at any other states. Those are your top male high school track states. But, like, we're talking a totally different goddamn world here when it, when it comes to sprinting. Like, And if you really want to fucking get into some fucking humor, start looking at hurdle times. Because women in high school uh, and in college and professionally run a, and race on shorter hurdles. So you have an intermediate hurdle, you have a high hurdle, and then you have, like, a women's... Women's high hurdle is lower than a men's intermediate. So a women's hurdle. So they have different standards. Correct. Exactly it, it, because it, they're fucking slower and yeah. physically fucking inferior to men. Jeez. No, those man. are facts. Uh, That's just, I'm not talking science. No, here, there's Matthew. genetic differences, of course. Right. I mean, men, well, I think women honestly, long term, are more emotionally stable than men. That's why we die of fucking heart attacks and shit. But like when it comes to athletics, running, jumping, and shit like that, fuck off. Women are also average five three and a half, five four. Men are five nine to five ten. In America, right. I've legs. seen a lot of uh, troll memes come out of the jiu-jitsu world where guys have been posting like, I'm getting a sex change so I can go crush the world championships in jiu-jitsu. And you're like, well, oh, here's the shit. thing. This goes, number one, here's what I want to say. This whole speaking out against fucking trans people com- competing in the opposite genders fucking thing, it's not transphobic. There's nothing to fear about that. We're just calling bullshit where it's bullshit. If you have a it's, dick, it's fucking it's bullshit. Science, if you have yeah. a dick, if you have a dick and two fucking balls, you are competing against no, men. That's a female penis. If you identify that, that's way. actually true. That's, that's good what point. they're saying now. Matt, thank you for the correction. That's uh, why you know there was a female penis in my my mouth last night, and it was super straight. It was a female, it was super yes, straight. So female the the Ross you brought your, Ross mentioned the the Connecticut high school stuff. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, hey, did you up. watch that race, by the way? So the two of them who ran, they were they were men last year on the boys track and field. They switched to women this year, so they're on the girls track and field. They're 17 years old. One appears to just be wearing a wig. Um, the other one, <laughs> he is. This is yeah. the ultimate troll, though. The other I one looks this. like the other one looks like it, it's it's he he is making an attempt somewhat to to try to look like a woman. They smoked <laughs> these fucking girls. This is this. just Joanna, man. Do you remember yeah, that, that's, that's, all <laughs> that's all it yeah, is. That's all it is. Hey Ross, but they're gonna lose scholarships man. because of this. And Ross, well, yeah, it's super unfortunate and unfair for female competitors that want to that want to succeed and and be athletes. How discouraging is that when you show up and there's a six four fucking male looking like he man, especially at the your high track. school level. Yeah, at the yeah. high school like, level. What the fuck are you doing to those kids, man? No, it gets better. So this is uh, this is the one that really gets me fired up and wants, makes me want to go you grind like, your gears. Oh god damn it! Grind Send it, Peter Griffin. Gears. So um, Ross is talking about the Connecticut high school. Yeah. Okay. Well, this year uh, in Franklin Pierce University, uh, runner C.C. Telfer, which was Clark fucking Telfer in 2018, Clark Telfer ran on the men's track team in 2018. Okay. Clark decided in like fucking December of 2018 that Clark wanted to be a woman and changed its name to fucking C.C. Not it. That's, so That's rude. I don't give a shit. Uh, <laughs> C.C. is now identifies as a female and competes on the female track team. Okay. Ran for the men's team in 2018 in college. Mediocre results. Yes. Mediocre results. Yep. 2019 said, you know, fuck this shit. Do you want a man? And goes over to the women's team and is now dominating. Does he still have a dick? Absolutely. Yeah. And two balls. Didn't, yeah. didn't even cut it off. He's no. not even trying. No. He's not even put trying on a to be na- a chick. Put, hold on, put on a hey, nappy ass a fucking wig, too. Make it Not even a good Connecticut high school boy wig. A fucking nasty ass Division II shit school nasty wig. So And is dominating the women's field. Has and then the third nobody passes. has the balls in the organization to say anything because, God forbid, you call somebody on their bullshit. Well, what's, what's Lost. Lost. Oh, but if they're trans, it's a, it's a hate, and you're being fucking transphobic. No, we're just what's, calling you an idiot. What's oh, we're irrit- calling you a man. Yeah. What's irritating to me is that everybody's calling these people brave, and I think transitioning probably is a brave process for people, especially because you're going to get fucked. Your family's going to hate you. It's got to be terrifying. Yeah. It, 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 be it terrifying. was for you, Dan. I remember when you went through it. And- <laughs> well, no, but that that's just the system problem with it in my eyes you have these these kids that you know maybe they did feel like they were born female or male of opposite gender yeah and they're they want to do a transition and and yes they're probably they're brave in their own right because they're willing to step up for their individual happiness happiness yeah. and combat people's hate speech 
all for it. But the problem it creates is in society is this, you know, cry wolf bullshit. And then you have these people that take advantage of the system and do dumb shit like there's, this. And then there's no. no such thing yeah. as hate speech, though. Like, I want to show up to that. Hi- <laughs> there's no such thing as hate speech. Yeah. Or COD. Anyways, yeah. keep going. Yeah. No, that's just is my point. It's unfortunate for people that are actually struggling with their fucking own identity yeah. and, and want to be something, someone that they're take not. Take seriously. Or fun- yeah. Take, yeah. Like, seriously. Let's take those seriously. Let's fucking stop bullying. Let's have some understanding for what they're going through. But then at the same right, not fucking... Just Here, here's be cool the thing: with the this people, absolutely ridiculous. The, shit. the people sitting at this table, if we see someone bullying a trans person in public, we'll I'm probably, gonna go beat the fuck out of that. Yeah, we'll dude. beat the There's shit gonna out be of a him. swift case. So there, someone's someone's going on the ground. But if real we, fast. if we show up to a sporting event, and we see a dude with a wig on. I'll boo. Like just fucking going on to town and ruining. What, are, have I mean, they interviewed on, any of the female yeah, athletes no, hold on, hold on. that competed? Uh, so they inter- so it, with Ross's point on the Connecticut high school kids, they interviewed them last week and the two boys that are competing and beating the shit out of the females said instead of complaining, they should probably just work a little bit harder. Yes. <laughs> yeah, do you believe that? So, so they're assholes too. Direct fucking that, quote. So they're yeah. assholes yeah. too. Yeah. 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 Shocking. Shocking. Um, wow. So, I, and look, it, it's it's up to the state. It's a state by state case right now whether or not you want to let them compete. Texas, Connecticut, and maybe four or five other states are saying it is up to uh, the individual high schools to decide. And blah blah blah. Everybody's afraid of a lawsuit or challenging this, uh, you know, to be transphobic or whatever the fuck they want to call it. So nobody's going to come out and change, say anything. Why don't they just change the rule to say women can compete in the men's division? Like yes. if you identify as a woman, fine. Yep. You, could, you still have to compete. In the well, that or again, yeah. I went back to saying this the other day. Just do make female and male keep it fucking competitive in real life, and then if you want to go experiment in some crazy shit, have Trans an open category. Have open, an open, open category. category. Like in BJJ, the open field. Like yeah. it's uh. like, come on, guys. There's reason weight classes fucking exist because Cain Velasquez is not going to fucking fight T.J. Dillashaw. He's got 70 fucking pounds on him. He's going to fucking rip his head off. Right? Speaking of MMA, do you think we could get AOC to fight like Cyborg? That for would charity? be so <laughs> rad. Oh my God. No. That'd be t- like how it. much money could we raise for her green charity or whatever the Let, fuck? How, what would it take to get her in a her, ring? I'll, I'll put I'll put some some money down if she stepped in the cage. I think a lot Cyborg. of people would put some money. down. I have a question. Or I yeah, want like Ronda. I just want to throw her. Guys, I, I don't. I think we, I think you. it just would go Gino opposite though, ass. because she would just get pumbled and then the have this like symp- sympathy thing. Like, and she'd probably take it pretty well too. You know, like where or she's just or like, or uh, she, she uh, constantly refers to herself as a little brown person. You never know; those motherfuckers are scrappy. Like, what if she got in there and just started whooping? She's got a sharpened toothpick in there or tooth toothbrush. Those canines. Baker, <laughs> she just, Baker it sounds like you're in love. Celebrity death match. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious. Baker, you're, 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 you're in love. Smith. Curious. Uh, you have hard eyes right now. I can see exactly, it. dude. You've got There's a, hard eye emojis. I do not appreciate that comment at fucking all, fuck especially coming from you. But let me ask this question, <laughs> Ross. You have two kids, right? Correct. That I both know boys. Of. Two boys. Yep. Uh, all right. Well, it doesn't really apply to you. But it, and uh, JT, you've got girls. Like I don't have kids. Matt doesn't have kids. Dan. Dan, Dan didn't have kids. How would you feel as a parent, man, like rolling up to a meet or something like that and like your, your kids are competing or doing something regardless of what it is and all of a sudden like a member of the opposite sex like kind of rolls in and just starts like dominating? I would take the medal off of that child and put it on the actual placing one and no parent there would stop me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, thanks, thanks, and Baker, I, thanks for the demonstration. Yeah. But your child actually lost. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> it's cute that you guys are fucking retarded. Yeah. But... Uh, this is going to go to the one that actually won this. Right. Ba- Baker, what about you, Ross? Baker I, as a kid, I, I had a, a, actually a similar story to playing athletics where I was taller than everybody else that was my age, right? So I started, I started playing uh, peewee football at like six years old with pads, and I was just crushing people because I was so much bigger than everyone else, right? Parents asked, uh, they got together and then asked my mom for my birth certificate to prove that I was the age that I said I was. And now that was just because I was bigger than other children. Imagine this. If you have kids and they're just getting smoked by fucking dudes and you're you're raising girls. Me personally, I would I would have all the girls team protest, hold them out and just have those two fucking dudes run against each other and say, fuck you. We're not we're, we're not we're not doing track and field anymore at this high school. Yeah. That's or what I, I, would start, I would start my own league. Like, hey, anybody that wants to compete in my league, we'll have a meet in the in the in the uh, Fiat track over here. Yeah, uh, and it'll be girls versus and girls. And everyone will run with their pants off. Yeah, but that's <laughs> that and, makes and, sense when you're younger. But when once you get to university, man, there's like thousands of people 
that are that's how they go to school. They can't afford it any other way right. other than their athletic ability. Correct. And that's a that's yeah. a pretty good system. But I that's think. the problem right there. So you're gonna have men compete essentially in the female categories, and if we're okay with that, they're gonna collect the sponsorships based right. off of performance. Mm-hmm. And so you're gonna rid the opportunity of these amazing female athletes yeah. to fucking placate this ridiculous situation. I mean, this, it, it, it makes so, it, 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 it it's makes such a t- weird obsession. It, right, right. Like we're just gonna be cool with that, and then like just kind of brush under the fucking carpet that Title these nine. amazing females are not going to get fucking yeah. scholarships to attend the college of their dreams and gain an education. Yeah, so it, it goes Fuck back to you. Title IX. So when they Title IX means that every uh, D one school for every male scholarship there has to be an equal female scholarship. So where that's problematic, I think it should be sport for sport. So for every male sport, there should be a female sport. The problem is with Title IX is that for every male scholarship, there's got to be a female scholarship. Well, your football team has 85 fucking 85, scholarship, yeah. scholarship and guys. And there's no female football teams. I'll right. pose this question to all of you here. So hold on. Hold on let's, say we, let's say you put a PI on one of these, on one of these uh, college athletes, and you find out that they are only operating as a woman for, the, for, for, the, for yeah, these Yeah, but meets. what does that even now, mean? Is that, that fraud? Mean? Is that fraud? No, because they identify at that point in time. I guess, but by the way, these people with their weirdo fucking shit going on uh, identify. It's like, well, I identify as a female. I'm going to compete today as a female. Well, I identify as a fucking moose today. I'm hunting kill season. You then. Hunting season's over. Don't Damn you it. violate I mean, me? Damn it. Don't you do violate me? Do you not Damn find it. this crazy that we we in the last three years have made this acceptable? I think honestly, in my 43 years on this earth, I think it is one of the craziest fucking things that I've this ever. This is typical seen. of any social balance situation, though. People felt oppressed and they went overboard. Yeah, the dudes, yeah. Back dudes hard. felt oppressed and no, they want to go no, compete no, no, no. with females. Women who feel like they're men who want to transition have certainly felt oppressed for the last fucking ever. Okay, fair right? enough. Fair so this is just a rebuke. It'll go away. They yeah, and, and this... By the balance way, will come over time. Th- and this will segue into into the next news story was, uh, you know, yesterday morning, I, I wake up around 7, take my kids to school. Uh, I catch a commercial, a Nike commercial, for a female defensive back catching an interception about Nike just do it and it was super inspirational that a, that a girl could play football, right? No, I, I thought... No, 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 no. I no, thought it was no, fake. Fuck, wait, wait. wait here's I thing. disagree with all you on this, actually. I, I, I thought it was fake. So I, I dismissed it. Uh, after the commercial break, she was on the Today Show. It is a girl who just got a scholarship offer. It's a D, Division three school. Can we get a photo? Yes. Uh, she's, she's about 135 pounds. She's a defensive back. What's her back. name? Not happening, dude. She's 5'8", too. I mean... What's Here, her name? Here's what I don't care what her gender is. Here's what I want to know. What's her forty time? How many times can she bench two twenty five? Because that's what they do with the combine. Yep. And what's her fucking vertical? Well, if those things ever, make sense, didn't she, she ever watch that, uh, that football movie back in the day where the chick Kathy Ireland? Yeah, she was the kicker. Bro, you yeah. know, so hot. Necessary <laughs> you know? roughness. God damn, uh, she's hot. Necessary <laughs> roughness. I think God, it, she's so good. I, I think that if a female could meet the standards and play in Division One football, yeah. well, like this is D2, uh, that's but, fucking or D two. That's that like that's oh, great. But fuck. she's gonna no, get destroyed. But you can't. But you can't change the rules to to to. Not her. That's a that's she's a, kicker. a kicker. There's a skill. I have no player. problem with female kickers, but I will tell you this: um, being a, I was a good high school. What is this woman's name? We're, we're trying to find it. Jesus, Dave. Well, Dave. Dave. I thought search, Ross has it. Dave, search female defensive back. female defensive back. That's it. And it's not from 2018 either. It's just fake just news. Up. Gets Jared Ryle. I know. Like it. Sugar is low. Dan looks at the internet. Uh, her name is Tony uh, Harris. Tony Harris, right there. T O N I Harris. Um, but is that short for Anthony? Tony, Tony, Tony. No, Tony, Tony, Tony has done it again. That's her in the middle, right there. It's her in the middle. She, I have to read this about, whole she, story. She's about but. five eight. She's about uh, five eight one thirty five. Now, for a defensive, five foot seven, five seven. Safety. Okay, so for, oh, for, God. for any defensive position, you're going. You have the opportunity to get absolutely fucking trucked. By a 300 pound male <laughs> lineman. So, if you're stacking if the box, you have the opportunity to knock her the fuck out if you're on offense. What but happens? To play devil's advocate, if she meets the standard to play and is good enough and is willing to individually accept the risks that she's going to get fucking hit by a steam train, like. Hey, sometimes you got to... I'm not against her plan. So I'm just I, saying she's going to get fucking destroyed. I, she's going to get knocked out. I'm, I'm, I'm a wait and see on this one because like I said... Yeah. I'm not I waiting for shit. I don't know what her 40 time is. I don't know what her vertical is and I don't know how many well, we, times we, she can bench we, press 225. We know that her 40 time is not comparable to, to a, a male skill position. Wait, what's a good Columbine 225 bench press? 
Uh, well, for a defensive back, your warm, your first set that 30. morning would would have gotten 30. you. No, off. not thirty. I know. Not for yeah. your, not your first, first set. You're talking about a sub one fifty pound really? woman is benching two twenty five. I don't think so. I don't. I don't, I don't even yeah. look it up. She cannot bench. She can't bench two hundred fucking pounds. I don't know. Who I've seen some. Bet? I've seen some bad bitches. Well, in no, she's one thirty five. That put her at a fucking. She's. Then she'd have to be multiple state record in the female thing. You would. Female state records in powerlifting are fucking like our fucking warm up weights. Like, I'll guarantee you right now, you and I could walk on a fucking deadlift bar and set the Texas female state uh, deadlift record one lift. How, no mu- how much is it? It's in the threes. Oh, really? I, yeah. I would say oh, it's higher yeah. than that, right? No. Ge- no gear? Non-gear? Like, tr- like tr- no true natural, ply or true raw? Stuff? No, yeah. But I'll, let me say this. So for defensive back, it, I've, like, these are top draft picks, too. This is as low as nine and all the way up to 25. Okay, so. yeah. So, But the, she's, there's the, no fucking way. She the world record for women's deadlift, she said previously, blah, 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 at 198 pounds was 573. Right, but this chick's Whoa. 135 pounds. Damn, yeah, it's 98. I mean, I can pull. Oh, you know, I'd probably have to do a week training. No, no, hold on. And that, hold on. That, that's Crystal Tate, dude. Like, you want to talk about running fucking gear, bro? She's bigger than I am. Like, she's shorter than me and weighs probably... She's close. I mean, yeah, no, that's oh, crazy. That's, oh, girl. Shit. that's a bad bitch. All right. She's not fucking around. No. No, not at all. Hey, no. you do you, though. That's awesome. Anyway, so let Lift me say this. Shit. So God. I played slot receiver, okay? This chick's a safety. If she were to line up in front of me, okay, at 5'7", 135 fucking pounds, and I know for a fact, even if she was a dude, I'd be faster than her, but I know that she's a female. She's not as fast as fast as I was. I would literally run right the fuck by her. That's what I do. How, 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 what, what's your strategy for this chick? Well, uh, I'm going to line up on the strong side, and when the ball snapped, I'm going to swim technique her and run by her. And when I'm 20 yards past her, because she's not going to be able to catch up, I'm gonna, the quarterback's going to release the ball, and I'm going to catch him. Listen, touchdown. The, she, first of all, she's a, probably a strong safety. She's not a free safety. She can't be fast enough it to do that. It said free safety on there. Yeah. It said safety, right? No, it said no, it free, free safety. safety. It was free. She, ah. She's not going to play free safety in college. She'll no. play strong safety probably. No, she's, they're probably going to have to switch her over to receiver. May, at 5'7", uh, no At 5'7", it's slot, too small. So she'd be a slot. No. They put, they'd put her at slot, and yeah. that's another thing. Like Maybe. If I, if I, if I, if, as a cornerback... She's going to get wrecked going over the middle. Wrecked. There's no way they can put her Dude, at slot. Dude, so if I lined up... sports words. If I was playing <laughs> DB sports and she words. lined up in front of me... Yeah, I would truck her at five yards. She would not time. get off the fucking line. No, ever. I would stick one hand in my fucking pants, and with one arm, I would hold her on the line. Why would that one hand be in your pants? Just to make sure so everyone knows I'm not using it. To defend her. Yeah, no, no. You're doing something weird here. Yeah. You're gross. Is it in the front or back of your pants? I would rotate place. Yeah. Mud hands. And then I would make her sniff it. <laughs> Did you say mud hands? Yeah. Oh, I'd make gross. her sniff it. But I will say this. Like, that, I, I hope she fucking wrecks some dude. That would be amazing. That would be awesome. One of yeah, my favorite. just no jewels in there. Well, I mean. There's one, no jewels. One of, my, we, one of my favorite things are dudes in the military who talk a bunch of shit, and then some chick comes up and blasts them on the PT test. I fucking love that. That or, that or like, it's like a. Yeah, but they that's do, a PT they're, test. They're, they're, what is it? Or not whatever. level one. Your combat is level yeah, one. Yeah, and then some chick just energy. fucking. <laughs> rolls your ass yeah, over. Judo so, throws them yeah. and gets them in a triangle. It's like taking a fucking styrofoam ball and giving it to Randy Johnson and saying he's going to pitch it as hard as he can at your head it's still a styrofoam ball it's just gonna go duke yeah yeah that's a weird analogy uh so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna just saying, you're yeah. talking about jewels of energy that doesn't exist there in a 135 pound woman Space it doesn't force. matter how fast she's running she's just gonna hit you and fucking bounce off Mass. yeah yeah, Times. she's she's gonna get killed. Uh, we can move on to the next one. Uh, the next one is they're trying to rename the John Wayne Airport in Orange County dumb. because of dumb, the Playboy dumb. article Fuck from everybody. 1971. Dumb. Thoughts? What exactly did he say in that article? Dumb. It was pretty dumb. damning. Dumb. dumb. But I'm, from I'm the not, 70s, I'm not a po- like everybody. Let, I'm going to take a step back because everybody's bitching about removing Confederate statues. First of all, most of those Confederate statues were built in the 1950s because of the end of Jim Crow, and it was last gasping attempt by white people to intimidate black people. That's all it was. So fuck that bullshit. Who cares? Why do you want to talk about the Confederacy anyway? They lost. They're fucking losers. No, but I think fuck when you them. start erasing history, that's not a good thing. It's not erasing you're not history. Erasing We're not history. burning you're just books. Getting, yeah, you're getting rid of the fucking Saddam statues. Who cares? Yeah, who cares about those guys? Yeah, no, they were <laughs> shits. No, that, that is a... What, what exactly did he say? Dave, can it was pretty that? damn. Why? That, that's Why? a great analogy. He said, "Look, he said, look. I, I, regarding black actors, he said, I'm not going to go out of my way to hire them 
Uh, that's great. If they want to take positions of public office one day, I think they need uh, to become more educated. Um, okay. He look. He he went all in, and and look, there was some <laughs> comments regarding women as well. Uh, this has been addressed for years. Public Enemy went hard on him in the eighties. Um, you know, with that song, "Motherfuck Him" and John Wayne. Because I'm black and I'm brown, and I'm ready, I'm hyped for some amp. Like everybody's known about this story. Why it is just resurfacing now? In 2019, I do not understand. This is a 40 Again, like, don't we have five year old like story prioritization of emotions and effort? Like, can we focus on things like you know, kids starving to How death? How about and the, yeah, shit? the homeless, like, some, the some, homeless some situation that actually matter other than like an offensive statement that's blah, whatever? Blah, 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 to my to blah. this next point, Ross, uh, is Lady Gaga fucking Bradley Cooper? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> right? There's, Absolutely, yeah. there's, 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 why wouldn't you? There is a zero percent chance he is not. Have you seen them staring at each other and yeah. talking about each other in red carpets? They're yeah. fucking. He they're never do They it. have to be. Ross, Ross, you can speak to this more than anybody sitting here, but uh, one, of the, one of the reasons that yeah. fucking actors and actresses go fucking wild crazy sometimes is because they you truly get into that role you're playing. Yeah, you 100%. Person, I'm, I'm the living example of it. I married the girl have, I cast in a movie as my love exactly, interest. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. No shit. No shit. And you're the same D-bag in, in real life that you are in your movie. Yes. And I don't know which came first, yes. taking a reg, but here we are. <laughs> all of it. All of it is true. And if you tell me they're not fucking, I can There's tell no you they way. are. And who no. wouldn't want They've to fuck Lady Gaga? That would be a blast. Is, is Bradley Cooper married? Yes. Uh, he, no, yeah. he's a life partner, uh, which is different. Oh, wow. so, well, then, of course, he's polyamorous. Wait, what? Shit. Probably, yeah, yeah, so he's got what a... the hell's a life partner? They, they have a they child actually, together, I, but they I are not married. Yeah. They yeah. filmed for, like, what, that. four to six months, maybe? Because he had to learn those songs and stuff. But they were together then, for a then long they've been time, on, yes. Then they've been on tour for the last year, too, yeah. after that. Yeah. You're telling me in 18 months yeah. of staring into each other's eyes and playing romantic music yeah. and being with each other all the time, well, they're not fucking... Come on. That's standard Hollywood acting, right? They're like, well, Bradley Cooper didn't fuck her, but my... My persona had sex with Lady Gaga's <laughs> character. That would be weird. Yeah. But again, who cares if they're having fun? Go for it. Yeah, I, don't care. I mean, Lady Gaga. You know, I don't believe in her she's political super affiliations, talented. but uh, holy shit, she's got a she's schnoz on her. Yeah. She can sing. Homegirl can sing. She's got a schnoz on her. You know, you Joe. Know, I can look over that. I can look over that. Our chief marketing officer worked with her when he worked at Disney back in the day. I think. Yeah. And he said she's like one of the most professional people. No, he did um, say, yeah. 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 He, he went, he, for like 20 minutes, he went off about how great she yeah. was. And, and if you want to yeah. see her nude, there's a documentary on Netflix called <laughs> Five Foot Two. And it's, no, de- dead serious. It's the documentary of Lady Gaga and, and kind really of her story. Her you can see her buck, you can see her buck naked. And uh, look, Lady Gaga for the night with all her fucking craziness. Rah, 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 that'd be a fucking blast. <laughs> Dude, yeah. yeah I mean, blast. I remember I crushed hard back day. I want to take a bite on your like love stick or whatever. Yeah. And she was in that mesh netting and it was like 2008. I was like, woo, all right, yeah. Gaga. Yeah, it's not like we're you talking know, about Lena Dunham. Gaga. P- play me some new piano. Gaga. Yeah, you would. That'd be yeah. a perfect fit. Look for at you. his face yeah. the way he says it with but, so much But passion. if she ever wore like that meat Lady dress Gaga. she did on Ellen, Gaga. then you'd try, probably try to eat the meat dress off of her. Yeah, that's I mean, true. she'd probably complain at me a lot, I think. Yeah, yeah, probably. I can't yeah. do the artists. I can't. It's you not think? my thing, you man. Think? I can't. The way they think and shit and the way they're wired, it just it freaks me out. B- B- Baker, all you have to do is Hot travel dogs. travel with her all over the world. That's your only she, gig. She just broke up with her fiance this week. And she, by the way, like, an hour after the Oscars voting came in. So they didn't want anything on the Oscar votes to go negative against her. So the hour after everybody turned in their votes for the Oscars, she announced that she broke up with her fiance and then she ends up winning an Oscar two because days ago. She's banging yeah. Bradley How Cooper. long until yeah. Bradley Cooper is broken up from his? She would chick. just be like, Did you really just pull a hot dog out of the glove compartment? <laughs> yes. yes, I did. <laughs> you know, we could probably, we could probably no shit get a little hot dog cooker put in place of your airbag over there. Oh man, we should look into that. Yeah, yeah, you could oh. easily do that. Yeah. Hey, this last one, Ross. Where's exhibit? I'm fucking. Yo, dog. Pimp that ride. Go ahead. A a pit bull that was registered as a therapy Uh, dog mauled a five-year-old girl at an airport. When does this shit finally end? You can't just... Yeah, there's no regulation. You're registering a therapy dog. People aren't going through the proper fucking screening processes. They're just... They're just making excuses to bring their dog with them everywhere. Well, and that's and the cause problem. attention. There is no within reason, no no vetting of the therapy dog half the time. First, the you can go on, dog. you can go online and do it, which is not accurate because it doesn't hold up. But to fly, you have to have a doctor's note for said 
whatever illness, like emotional support, and then you just get a doctor's note, and then suddenly you have a service dog. But the dog, to my understanding, no, for, is never no never like, hey, no. they don't do the things like can the, the little toy kid go next to the food bowl and not get mauled? Well, I'm sure if they did that to this pit bull, it would have like ripped off the fucking, yeah. you know, like wh- how unfortunate Listen, for that poor if, little girl. if that's my kid... That dog's neck is getting broken on the spot. Yeah. If a dog is biting the fucking kid, yep. I will kill the dog, and then I'll beat the fuck out of the owner. With exactly. the dead dog. Yeah. 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 I'll just take the Sh- fucking shoving dog, the dog body, up the guy's I'll ass. I'll fucking just fucking the whole dog, beat the, the shit The whole dog the up his ass. Like, you had your Cheerios done. this morning. That's I'm the first done. thing I thought of, Jared. No lie. Because, yeah. Dave, pull up, oh, I would pull, pull, pull up this dog, girl's yeah. picture. Yeah. There's a picture of this girl today. Her... Part of her lip got chewed off uh, right underneath oh, her no, eye. Fuck. Dog oh, is getting fucked up. Uh, Owner Ross, is getting fucked up worse. Ross, just so you know, when I read your notes when I first sat down, I, when I saw, saw the word pit bull, I was thinking of the artist, not an animal. Put, That's what I thought, too. Put Phoenix in there. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly. 305 Dolly. till I die. Mr. 305. Uh, look. He used to be so good, pit bull, back in the day. Before Did he? he? you know, got a pop. Dude, that 305 <laughs> album, that, that was my jam back in the day. With, that that guy, man, he's made the most out of a little girl. bit of talent, and I've never seen anything like it. Good on him. He's a gajillionaire, but man, he is. Isn't he Mr. Worldwide? He is Mr. Worldwide. He is Good Mr. Mr. Uh, create a nickname and stick with it. AOC, she created her own Mr. nickname. Worldwide. You know how hard it is for a human to give themselves their own nickname and have it stick? I think everybody nope. wanted to do that as a kid. That never works. Well, you know, I want to go back to this pit bull thing, too, because... The unfortunate reality in this as well is pit bulls already have a really bad stigma. So this fucking idiot owner who brought a dog that will maul a child into an airport without a muzzle, without any fucking oversight, like, fuck you. Because now if you're just making it bad for everybody. It's probably and, and the one worst of those... part is the fucking poor little girl that's going to have a complex for the rest of her life, most likely about dogs. Look at that first article. They might have the girl's name it, in it, um, and then you could just search her. And name. It, Matt, it's normally those people that are like, "Oh, I'm going to rescue this uh, these bleeding hearts. I'm going to go rescue this pit bull uh, that was in a fighting ring, and I'm going to love it into normalcy." That doesn't happen. Normal hey, no. is the word you were looking you know, for. You know, maybe it does, but you that you have to be a super active participant in in guiding and and training that dog. It is a lot of work. I I got my dog back, and I had to put at least four weeks in to get her back to where where she was. And just based off of the environment, and that's with her so all like, day, every day. But, but that's all day, every day training, going through like really strict procedures with her. It just it shit in life takes effort. You can't just be like oh hope and love fixes everything. Oh, no, it Jesus. Yeah. Oh no, is that her? Yeah. yeah. Oh man, that's yeah. unfortunate. They filed the she $1. Looks, $1 million dollar lawsuit. But she looks like people. a little fucking badass though. Look at her. She's just like, fuck you, motherfucker. Dead eyed. She's dead eyed. Yeah, look at her. Looks like Dan's kid. You know, if Dan Please had a tell kid. me that's Very not the dead-eyed. fucking dog. That, that's not the emotional support dog to, right there. Can you imagine? <laughs> no, don't just say that's not it. <laughs> Can you imagine what a kid of mine would be like? Holy shit. Oh, Have boy. any of you ever seen a pit bull get a hold of another dog? Yeah. Yeah. So when I lived in New York in East Village, this girl. Which I was, you know, they'll they'll get they'll rescue some dog. You lived and then, in the East Village, huh? Oh yeah, right on Thompson Square Park, Tenth and B. So There's a I. lot of a uh, lot of sodomy that happens over there. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot better when I was there. It's not, cool. not, more. not better. Moved. Better what? is not the right word. Well, so- the dog the dog park. Uh, I watched a pit bull uh, latch onto the back hind quarter of a smaller dog, and yeah. you couldn't get wouldn't let it. Go. No, you got to choke him out basically to get him. Well, out. you know what? Get a, you know what? Cause a pit bull to let go real motherfucking fast. I'll put your thumb in his butt. Goddamn mace. Oh. oh. Paint that bitch's face red or orange, it'll let go. And then the the owner got mad. Why are you spraying my dog with that? It's like, did, what, were you the fu- were you not here? The dog's biting the other little ass dog. The whole dog park went fucking ballistic. But people running around in circles screaming and shit. For you macing the dog? No, I didn't mace the dog. Oh. I was I was about to unload. Like I was going to do a Ross Patterson, I was punting for seventy yards on this fucking. Thing. Yeah. What, is, what is the term for that when people watch watch like they just tragedy by live effect. by center effect and they're yeah. like someone has to do yeah. something? They're like guess what, bitch? You, you that, drew the straw today. Yeah. It's you up see to that you. Video of that dude just decking like three chicks and yeah. everybody's just like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> you're what an asshole. Whoa, <laughs> that's inappropriate. That yeah. was the craziest <laughs> yeah. video I've ever seen. It's like yeah. double leg the motherfucker or just tackle this him. This is like, my fight. So <laughs> or, did you see the video? <laughs> It's not funny. It's Did any of y'all see the video of the uh, of the the guys getting in a, the rednecks in Alabama getting in a fight on the golf course? No. And the one dude's going, "Hey, bros, what about the course etiquette, man? What happened to course <laughs> etiquette?" And these dudes are just like going at it. It's like that. golf course the- fight. <laughs> yeah, it was so good. Well, hold on. In that circumstance, <laughs> like oh, if, is- if you and I were at a golf course and you called someone a pussy, he called you a pussy, and you guys fought. 
I would say make fighting great again, and I would moderate it where no one's getting their head stomped in. But you two are going to handle your right. shit like a man, yeah, right? because you both this. as adults, hey, same sex, look at this. decided They're to fight. Duking them out, come on, who just like this. this. Hey, let them go. What? Look at the guy in the blue shirt. The guy in the blue that... shirt's like, get yeah, that, I guys. know, but this fucking asshole's got blurry fucking. Dave, like, we're Dave, in the age of fucking Dave, iPhone X. Look up. Where's the course etiquette? Oh, he put a jab in there. Boom, boom. Oh, he went for that right hand. He circled back. Where's he at? Oh, oh yeah. missed. Oh, right. How about how is this? Oh, oh nice. <laughs> See, he didn't set up the right hand and he got jabbed hard. How is this blurry? No, <laughs> that's good though. <laughs> Stop worrying about the video quality, asshole. I'm just saying. Like, no, but to, I to love echo, that shit. That's two people handling their shit. I want to. And be. as long as you're not getting curb stomped, stabbed, or shot, or I think sometimes up. a good ass beaten can fix some shit. Maybe they got a beer after and go. You know what, man. It's kind of being an asshole. Yeah, me too. Shake hands and move on like real men. No, no, I agree I with want. Matt 100% on that. I think like when you see these fights on, like the, remember the chick in the, in the Bronx the, that they said, you have a counterfeit $100 bill, I'm not taking it. And the chick took a swung, swing at the guy, then decides she's going to jump over the counter and go fuck him up. And her girlfriend comes over, he lays, and they attack this dude. And the dude picked up the little, the little piece of bar mm-hmm. and just started sawing on him. And the dumb, blonde, obnoxious, bleeding heart fuck face that was screaming. Oh, it is her fault that that ass whipping lasted an additional 30 seconds because the sounds coming out of her mouth were so piercing and infuriating. <laughs> it just made the guy matter. <laughs> stop! 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 And this guy's like going, whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. this chick with rebar? No, it wasn't rebar. It was like some piece of like kitchen iron that like was like really malleable. Yeah. But like they deserved every bit of it. And like <laughs> he... he it, Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, man. Absolutely, like, you're a consequence for all your actions. There yep. are consequences for them. So we didn't they, talk about uh, Michael Cohen. Oh, uh, save the best for last. The wow. Michael, that's, that's Michael the Ke- last Calamari. one. Michael Cohen My- testifying on the Hill against Trump says he's a racist. Says he's a con man. Says he's he's hush money to all of these porn stars and other whores in his life. I also really want to talk about the superstar of this trial that he mentioned. Uh, look into a guy named Michael Calamari, is what it's he Calamari. said. Uh, Calamari. It's, it's Calamari. Calamari. It's Calamari. Um, Calamari, Calamari. Cal- yeah, I can't I so I this, some Calamari. Michael, Michael, everybody's talking about it for that's some reason. That's the really greatest name of all time, Michael Calamari. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Calamari was a fucking... Trump ran into him in, I think, 81 at the U.S. Open. He was a security guard. He looks like an extra in Goodfellas. Dave, pull up his picture. He's scary looking. Michael Calamari. I'll be honest with you. He's fucking scary looking. So everybody's (laughs) talking about this guy like... Nah. Like it's some kind of goddamn conspiracy Look, or some shit, dude. <laughs> dude, oh, come on. I'll fuck him up. No, but that's because you have training. But to the common casual such as myself, that fucking mustache is intimidating. <laughs> that's why I said the other day, grow the Matthew, mustache back. Why, why is the mustache intimidating? It, it holds. He's probably wearing a women's panties, sense. man. That guy's a freak. It's Matthew Calamari. Yeah, not Michael. Ah, yeah, well, Matthew. either way, Calamari is is the greatest last name that has never been used in the history of the world. And I want to, I want to <laughs> praise him. For... He looks like a news anchor. No, no, and that <laughs> tie, does. that tie knot. No, that's called a full Windsor. That is a full Windsor. Not many people know how to tie a full Windsor. You can't, Thanks, uh, you can't so, pull that off either. Right, not a lot what of the can fuck is the relevance of this person? So he, so He's Trump, bodyguard. Trump saw him light two people up at the fucking U.S. Open in 1981. He was like, you know, what? I'm going to hire this guy. Work on my security detail. He's worked on the security detail forever. I think sometime in the mid 90s or early 90s, he became the head security for Trump Tower, New York. Okay. And then he became an EVP at the company. Yep. Okay. So he's now an EVP. He's been CEO before. And for some reason, Cohen brought this guy up as, as Trump's fixer. Yeah, he's a billionaire. Of course he's got a fucking fixer. What yeah, the fuck this guy, this, this is a textbook example of rags to riches, someone going from the fucking turnip truck yeah. into the rose, it's an to the rose garden. And story. worked his way all yeah. the way up. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, hey. and if he fucking knuckled up on a couple of people on his pathway there, that's the American dream, son. Yeah. What Matthew, the fuck are we talking Matthew, about? Matthew, can you take care of this for me? I got it, boss. Dave, I wonder yeah. if he knows got Micah. It. <laughs> I want. I, I, here's the thing. What if he's ever taped his fist up, waited on someone in the alley? I, I think that's the ultimate goal of being rich is so that you have your own Matthew Calamari. Like that's all yeah. I want in this world is a Matthew Calamari. Hey, go fucking do this. No, that's not this. the goal. The goal is is to be an anti-gun politician and then walk into rallies where you have forty armed guards protect you and a sniper team. Right? <laughs> uh, let me say this. I will. Fucking I will. I will go down on every single male employee of this company. Ew. Whoa. If let me finish. Whoa. Not it. Hey, if on. Diane <laughs> finds. 
in some capacity, does not own massive amounts of stock in firearms companies. I agree. I think that's. I think that's the play. Here. She's been throwing this like, fucking yeah. assault weapon ban up since the nineties. Yeah, and you know why she and does it? Does it? This because you know what happened the past year? Gun sales were down. Guess what's going to happen the, in this fall? This will be the first fucking time in the history of this country that we have had politicians openly running on anti-gun platforms for election. Baker, it's going to be glorious. Baker. No, the reason glorious. the it's reason terrible. she runs on that platform is because she was there in the courthouse building when Harvey Milk got assassinated in the seventies. That's why, and because she owns stock and gun companies, probably both. Yeah, lots of stock. Yeah, probably owns Remington. I, Diane Feinstein owns Remington. Fuck it, I said it. <laughs> 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 Proves me wrong. Dear Remington. Fake news, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah, dear Remington. Fake, fake news. news. That was fake news. Fake Alex Jones news is my father. All the way around. <laughs> uh, but uh, wow. no, the Cohen hearing was a big. It was um, honestly though. I watched the whole thing. It was pretty fucking embarrassing. Um, for who? A huge nothing burger. It yeah, was just political but it was, embar- it was embarrassing for America. Not and like, he perjured himself in fucking front of in Congress. Again, again, yeah. like more. Did you see this that part where uh, Meadows? Y- yeah, 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 the, yeah. Like the whole racist thing. And it, like, oh, and Talib, fuck yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she God. just uh, a prop, and he's like, "You're just you're talking about you know we're best friends, right?" And you know that my <laughs> and, 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 and his, 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 he's like my nieces and nephews are all. Are, are, yeah, it's like my grandkids are are, are mixed gender. Yeah, I mean mixed, mixed, not mixed gender, mixed race. Yeah, like, mixed race. And he's the, like, you realize I've been best friends with that dude with, since the eighties. Yeah, with Cummings, <laughs> he's a piece of work. Elijah Cummings. Yeah, yeah. But Elijah Cummings, though, I, he's he, a legit dude. He is, but he's you know. Um, but he's, it he's was a, it was a now. huge nothing burger. I mean, he did he he got another he was he was uh, recommended for another FARA violation, which is Foreign Agent uh, 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 Registration Act. So he basically acknowledged in 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 uh, in front of Congress yesterday that he did work on behalf of several foreign companies that he never disclosed. And Meadows holds up the form and it's like, dude, you're... Dude, can I... I just want to start a hashtag, like, hashtag take Matt to space. Like, I want to go, like, smoke space Save weed with aliens and get space. away from Let's this crazy space. planet. Hey, legit no, question. Do you think they have Matt, drugs? Do you think aliens have their own drugs? Absolutely. Dude, come on. Absolutely. Are you fucking serious? I bet it's an app, though. I bet you can just fucking pull up an app and be like, I want to be... Booked up. Yeah. Here's, you here's put the a problem. timer on it, and you're just like, hey, I'm going to be fucking hammered for an hour. And yeah. then once the yeah. hour runs up, yeah. you're like, ah, shit, that was fun. Dude, here's here's, here's the life. problem. Edit that out because that is a billion-dollar IP right there. No, <laughs> Pull that out of this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> here's the problem. Human beings, because of Puritanism and all this other nonsense, religion, all, all that stupid shit, view drugs as some kind of like uh, evil or negative or rec- even recreation. What the fuck was that? My paper. Uh, aliens who are fucking like you said we're fucking primates aliens who are far evolved beyond us they probably look at drugs as like mental stimulant and enhancement right like well, the the, yeah. na- the nazis for example and not that i'm a, a pro-nazi guy that's stupid. yeah where are you going with this the nazis Hang invented on. crystal meth to keep their soldiers fucking charging forward all the time they invented that drug for that specific reason so they didn't invent it to be stuck in a news anchor's ass and a fist go up in there and kill him no what killed him the meth or the fist did he, no, it's two meth rocks, bro. It wasn't just one meth rock. It was he put a meth rock in there, and he told the guy, he's like, "This this mellows me out." And it's like, dude, I've never done meth, I've never seen it, but I do know that it's an amphetamine, and there's nothing like in meth in the word fucking mellow ever. That's not a thing, bro. And then he's getting fisted by this dude. The the part that I want to talk about is I want to know who not took, the meth or the fisting. Uh, yeah. I want to know who <laughs> took the fucking dude's story. Someone had to sit down and be like, "What happened?" And the guy was like, "Well." He shoved a meth rock up his ass while I was fisting. I want to see that. Be honest inter- about it. I want to see that interview Firefest style, like the guy talking about sucking dicks. I want to see it like super serious. Did you see Jim camera. O'Hare's uh, parody of that? Yeah, it was good. It was pretty funny. Really he used, funny. It, he, he used he Parks made, and Rec people. He right? made the well. He made yeah. He used Parks and Rec people, but he made the set look almost identical. Yeah, like, like it looks identical. The, the thing like, is, like, like listen, I don't get the whole like I did it a dude though. wanting to get fisted. Like, listen, I have been. So goddamn what aroused, I, I would have fucked a goat if I could have found one. I have never in my life been like, I'm so fucking horny and turned on. I want someone to shove a fist up my asshole. What if other people thought differently than you, Baker? Wouldn't but that the, be no, no, crazy? I'm not. I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm just saying I don't understand. That's right. what I'm saying. I, I don't. I don't. I'm not. I'm not all left. So you're saying? You're, <laughs> listen, what, 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 hold on, no, hold on. I think I got this for you. What if AOC was like, stuff that fucking hamburger fist of yours in my b hole? Her butthole, not mine. Yeah, That's hers. Yeah, I, but I would say I'm curious, and I would. You get a whoa. You get a listen. Hold on, I would try two seconds to Matt, 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 pull yeah, out Matt, your wallet. I would show try. Baker right now. Pull out your wallet and show Baker. Look at this. I don't, Baker. I don't have a wallet on. You me. don't have it it's, on you. All right, you know, you get a new leather wallet. What it's the nice. Up with you? It's, it's in your tight. Wallet? 
You know, you start shoving business cards and everything's in there. After a year or so, this wallet is just fucking loosey goosey. Are you making fun of my wallet? No, I mean, I'm saying just in general. Like, and then you gotta shove your cards start falling out, so you gotta shove more shit in there. And then the wallet is so big it yeah. affects your spine. But I mean, that's, why that's I wear the it. thing. I know this. If is you're f- working something no. fucking hard for a while, after a while, it just gets Dan, a little loose. Have you, you ever been fisted by a chick? No. Have you ever stuck meth in your butthole? No. Can you make a list? Hold on. Can you make a list? Well, a serious question. Can you make a list of drugs that people do in their butts? A I mean, lot. People wow. put ecstasy in their butt a lot. Yeah. No, but there's got to be a list, Coke. like a running list Cocaine. of like, this Cocaine is the best is a big drug one. for your ass. Yeah, a lot, well, of, a lot, of, a lot of musicians, okay. singers especially, get but, Coke blown up their butt. But wait, what, what they, about this doctor in Florida that just got in trouble because the girl did Coke off his boner and she died, and then they're charging him with murder? They had to be fentanyl in there. Yep. Yeah, but, but homeboy put fucking... Meth in his butt, and we're not charging the other guy for murder. Now, I want to know, did he have to hold his penis down, or was it long enough to just hang at 90 degrees to the earth? You just want to talk about dick. But (laughs) people consume all sorts of drugs through their butts because there's so much blood vessels, it goes, you metabolize it far quicker. No, I know that, but there's got to be a a list. And for the record, I've never consumed anything, drug or alcohol, through my rectum. I've consumed chicken livers through my butt. Oh, fuck. That's just called you pooping. Cooked or raw. Cooked or raw. raw. You got salmonella. It doesn't matter. You got salmonella. I don't like the taste of chicken livers, but I like the nutrients. Yeah, organ meat. Far higher nutrients. Oh my God! What? Both of you kindly leave the stage, please. <laughs> well, Jesus that's, that's fake news. Well, for fake today. news, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, oh, uh, and with that, we'll end drinking bros. Me to space. Fake news. <laughs> Take me to space. Take me to fucking space. Uh, Take Matt to space. Apparently, you put a chicken liver in your butt, you get to go to space. Oh God! <laughs> for Baker, <laughs> leave it. Jared Jones Taylor, Anthony Holloway, Matt Best. I'm Ross Patterson. This is the fake news.